Hi guys, welcome back to another unboxing with Burrito. That's me. Uh, on this happy occasion, I have another big lot from eBay artisan Savini666. Um, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it. I have some VHS, a bunch of VHS. Uh, did delve into another one of my passions, which is uh, old samurai films on this lot quite a bit. And also got some exciting big box additions to the collection. And speaking of the collection, actually, uh, at this point, I've outgrown my, my current storage space, so I'm going to have to go out and buy another cabinet. But hey, that, that was part of the plan all along, right? So without further ado, let's just jump into the uh, VHS. So we've got uh, Prom Night. Here we go. Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm, I've got some natural light happening today, so I'm, I'm trying to account for that and uh, not hit you guys up with too much of a glare. The only casualty from this uh, this delivery was Hideaway with Jeff Goldblum. Pretty cool movie. I've seen it though. Uh, and of course it arrived totally smashed. This particular uh, vendor has been super good to me as far as uh, extras and whatnot, so I told him not to worry about it. It's definitely not an issue. Okay, so uh, it looks like uh, these aren't really sorted uh, according to um, genre, so I'll be mixing back and forth between the Samurais and the um, the horror VHS. Not all horror either. Mac and me. <laughs> That's actually, actually something my kids expressed an interest in. I never actually watched that, but uh, a couple times my sons wanted to rent that one to describe it. Okay. Backstab. Never heard of or uh, seen this film, but recognize some of the the actors in it. White Ghost. I don't know. I just thought the uh, seeing the greatest American hero in kind of a, a Rambo role might be interesting. The Wraith with a uh, good old Charlie Sheen. The, the Ultimate Shocker. Pulse. Relative Fear. Uh, Savini 666 does a great job of describing his uh, items on eBay. He'll show some screenshots and the official synopsis of the film. And uh, I'll tell you what, for you guys still on VHS, for me, if I haven't seen a film, that's a, that's a great hook and a good way to get me purchased. Uh, Don't mess with my sister. Revenge exploitation. Uh, Cameron's Closet. No idea on that one. Kovos. Nice reflective cover. Really cool art on this one. Intrigued. I want to watch that. People Under the Stairs. I actually really did like this film quite a bit. I've recently got a DVD of that, but you know, it was there for 99 cents and I thought it would look nice in my official VHS library. American Ninja 2. Here's an interesting Japanese film. Eight Man. Uh, Blades. It's a trauma picture. Um, the art intrigued me. Like all trauma pictures, I don't have any high expectations, but it might be fun to watch. Here we go, The Exterminator. You've heard me say it before. God, do I hate cut boxes with Molly Ringwald. I do love me some Molly Ringwald. I don't know, man. I, I gotta, I've always had a weakness for the redheads. A uh, hard shell plastic case of Jim Cotta, a film that if you haven't seen this and you're a fan of uh, ninja movies or like 80s martial arts films, Jesus, you, you have to see this. Film. Oh, by the way, Jim Cotta right now, I, I, I am bidding on a big box version of this, which I mean to win, and let's, let's hope that that comes to the collection of Brento very, very soon. Um, fantastic deal on the complete collection of The Stand. Uh, funny story, uh, when I read The Stand, I was a, it was right after high school, and I was uh, serving as a security guard for a little company we got called here in town called Security Forces Incorporated. <laughs> and uh, I, I was a security guard for an old closed down textile plant called, uh, once called Jeffries. And uh, that was a big, big place with a lot of noises at night. And, and I worked the graveyard shift, uh, of course. And uh, I read this book while, while up there and just spending some long, cold nights in that place. And it made all kinds of noises. And it was just the craziest experience because the book is fantastic. If you haven't read it, an absolute must read. Even if you're not typically into a Stephen King, which I know a lot of folks actually uh, are, but complain about like the depth of his character development and stuff. Uh, this, this is just such a cool story. It's an end of the world scenario. Uh, Armageddon type thing, but uh, just fantastic characters, and I actually really, really like the uh, TV adaptation of it. I would have loved to have seen it as a film, um, but uh, I've always wanted to, you know, have that, and 
I of course have uh, have it on DVD, but uh, that was cool. And you know, four bucks, I think I might have paid for that. So that was not, definitely a nice grab. Warrior of the Lost World, sort of a hard case. Um, a lot of people call this big box. I don't call this big box, guys. Oh, this looks good. Toshihiro Mifune in Sanjuro. Probably my favorite uh, you know, actor as far as the old Samurai films go. This guy's awesome. Samurai 2, of course the same actor. <laughs> the uh, Akira Kurosawa like this guy, apparently. Uh, now this is a, a rare um, Kurosawa comedy, I believe. Samurai Rebellion. I'll be watching all these really soon because uh, I'm definitely wanting to back those up to, to DVD for sure. And the 47 Ronin Part 2, the 47 Ronin Part 1. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, tale. Samurai 1, so that's Samurai 1 and 2. I always like to have complete sets. The Hidden Fortress. Got one more VHS called uh, Steel Justice. Horrible film. Martin Cove, though. Um, post Karate Kid, he got into a few of these action pictures that um, usually involved him being like a Vietnam vet with some sort of a tortured past. And uh, in this case, there was a fantastic poster. Uh, in this one, he's only got one, but I have seen a version where he had these two short, not the long samurai, but the shato, the short samurai sword that uh, samurais used for, uh, you know, seppuku purposes. He had two of these strapped across his back, and his deal, his backstory was he was like a tunnel, what they call it, tunnel rat in Vietnam. He would go into the tunnels and, you know, clear them out of booby traps before the, 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 the main uh, soldiers went in there, and uh, or, you know, take out bad guys and the idea behind the short swords was um, that you know he could swing it inside a small space instead of the big long one and uh, I just thought that was the goofiest thing I mean they're not in Japan you know they're in Vietnam why would there even be like samurai uh, swords there but I, I just thought it was just too cheesy to pass up so you know 99 cents add that one to the collection I probably will at some point watch that one again I was a huge fan of anything to do with ninjas or samurais growing up so yeah that, that, that'll be good film that really needed to be in my collection. Soya Green. Soya Green is what? Don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, it's Mean Streets. Actual big box. The Executioner. Okay, now these, I'll, I'll just admit that I probably wouldn't have picked them up if it weren't for the chance to get them really, really cheap. I think I paid $10 for all three. Uh, it's uh, Ray Bradbury's The Martian Chronicles. I can imagine what the actual show's like, but there's some really cheesy uh, art on here, and there's like a really young Roddy McDowell right there. Like, I've never seen a picture of him that young. He looks like he's in his mid-twenties there. Um, Rock Hudson, Bernie Casey, Nicholas Hammond, lots of faces that you would recognize, but in a much younger format. So sci-fi big box. I thought they would look nice on my shelf with uh, all my heart. I want to go ahead and plug my uh, my own channel, which is youtubecom graybro. Uh, there's going to be some news coming up pretty soon. It's not directly related to uh, to Mutantville and some things that I want to share uh, about some stuff that I'm up to. So I definitely want to plug that channel. Please check it out as well. And of course, keep your eye on uh, you know youtubecom players, This channel right here. For all things Mutantville, and I'll continue to post the unboxings here. And stay tuned for another unboxing very, very soon. Thank you, and good night.